from this video onwards we will learn about physiology of urine formation which starts with blood coming into the kidneys. So let's learn about renal blood flow. Heart pumps about 5 liters blood every minute. About 20% of which is received by kidneys. Thus, renal blood flow is approximately 1 liter or 1000 ml per minute. These 1000 ml is total blood received by both the kidneys although I am showing only one kidney here. Let's assume that hematocrit is 40%. That means in 1000 ml of blood, 400 ml is blood cells and 600 ml is plasma. Thus we can say renal plasma flow is about 600 ml per minute. You must wonder what determines this renal blood flow. So let me tell you, it is determined by a mathematical formula which goes like this. Pressure difference between renal artery and renal vein divided by total renal vascular resistance. Let's understand this formula. In numerator, we have pressure difference between renal artery and vein. Pressure in the artery favors blood flow through the kidney and pressure in the vein opposes it. Hence, the more the difference in between these two pressures, the more the blood flow. And that is why this parameter is taken as numerator in this equation. Now denominator which is total renal vascular resistance. Vessels with smaller diameter including afferent and efferent arterioles provide resistance to the blood flow. The more the resistance, the less the blood flow. And the less the resistance, the more the blood flow. So resistance is taken as denominator in this equation. So renal blood flow is determined by these two factors. Among these two, our body uses resistance to control renal blood flow. Of course, the combined resistance of afferent and efferent arterioles determines the renal blood flow, but their individual resistance is also important as they have distinct effects on glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure. So now we will study these effects. Glomerular hydrostatic pressure is basically blood pressure in glomerulus. Pressure in renal artery is about 100 mmHg. Because of resistance at afferent arteriole, the pressure in the glomerulus falls to 60 mmHg. And because of afferent arteriolar resistance, pressure further drops to 20 mmHg in peritubular capillaries. For now we will focus on glomerular hydrostatic pressure. It is very important factor determining glomerular filtration rate. As I said, afferent and efferent arteriolar resistance have distinct effect on it. If resistance of efferent arteriole increases, less pressure is transmitted from renal artery to glomerulus, which leads to decrease in glomerular pressure. And if resistance decreases, more pressure is transmitted, so pressure increases. Efferent arteriolar resistance has opposite effect. If it constricts, pressure in glomerulus increases. And if it dilates, the pressure reduces. This completes this video. From next video, we will see glomerular filtration. Thank you.